So, our second recipe is garbanzo beans made into hummus. So, um, we there's lots of different hummus recipes. Probably the one that people are most familiar with is the savory one that we use in Middle Eastern food. Um, and it's a nice spread. But this one, um, we call it brownie batter hummus. We stick with the name hummus so that people know that it's made from garbanzo beans or chickpeas and um, it identifies it that way so that we can still call it a vegetable people although this is going to be very tasty so um, we're going to use garbanzo beans and we're going to make brownie batter hummus so you really need a food processor for this Pre please don't try to do this in your um, commercial or other blender because you it it'll bind them down probably even burn them out so um number one thing is we put those chick oops you gotta get to put the right and we're gonna pulse until we get a little bit of a meal going on okay then we're gonna add the other ingredients and combine it all so we have sugar and cocoa powder because you can't make brownies without cocoa or sugar you didn't see me do that did you okay And then we're gonna we're gonna need to have some of that um, traditional um, nut puree that is in uh, hummus. So in this case, we're you can you could use tahini, but we're going to use um, peanut butter. You could also use sun butter um, or the other one, almond butter. Um, any any of those um, nut butters will provide a good taste for this. So, need to add our nut butter. And I'm doing this in my mini my mini food processor. So, got to reduce the recipe at just a tad bit. Need some vanilla. We need olive oil. just to loosen it up a bit. Um, in traditional hummus you might use some of the the water that you cook the garbanzo beans or the chickpeas in.
this only has a pulse option, this mini one. So there we go. Just need to stir down a couple of things here, make sure that we got everything mixed in. So this is lovely as a dip um, served with your apples or like winter pears, something, a nice firm fruit. Um, also, I've used it as a topper for a whole grain waffle. So spread that on instead of peanut butter, which is a family favorite at our house, and then top it with some fruit for complete breakfast. So just some ideas of how you're going to squeeze in garbanzo beans into your daily diet. Okay, so all we have left to do is to plate. And the typical serving size would be a quarter cup to get a whole meat exchange, meat, meat alternate. But this guy is teeny, so let's see how we're going to do this. Perfect. 